very warm welcome to all those who have joined me in this session of fertility talks i am dr shubhdeep bhattacharya and i'm working as a fertility consultant and consultant gynecologist and obstetrician at indira ivf patel nagar new delhi at the onset i would like to discuss a few points about the present day pandemic of covid-19 we all know we are facing Uh, unprecedented troubled times in this time of pandemics and i hope each and every one of you is keeping safe in following all the measures that have been suggested by the authorities who are maintaining the principles of physical distancing keeping each one of us masked and following all the rules of hygiene possible i know uh, this times can be at times be quite stressful for us but yes together if we uh, show the commitment we would be able to fight this trouble times too so uh, the topic of today's discussion that we are going to do today is what is endometriosis and what is ovarian cyst uh, before beginning the discussion i would like all of you to reach out to me with your fertility related queries you can send me your reports and all the queries related to your problems you can see a number flashing below your screen you can send me all your reports and necessary queries to this number where i can have a look at them and then counsel you accordingly first of all uh, let us discuss what is an ovarian cyst many a times women come with their ultrasound report where they have been diagnosed with a ovarian cyst what is an ovarian cyst ovarian cyst is either a clear fluid collection within the ovarian stroma or the medulla or it can be some sort of a complex structure too a simple cyst is where there is no additional content there is only presence of clear fluid inside it whereas complex structures may be there which may be associated an example of a complex cyst may be a multilocular cyst endometrioma or it may be other benign with solid components or malignant cyst too now if you are diagnosed with an ovarian cyst what should you think of first of all uh, cyst or functional cysts or clear cysts are quite common in the reproductive age group so even if you are diagnosed with a clear cyst or functional ovarian cyst all the cysts need not be treated immediately some of the cysts subside by itself whereas some can be easily treated medically with the help of hormonal treatments spanning a period of 3 to 6 months over which the subside after the diagnosis of a cyst is made it is upon the clinician to decide whether it needs treatment or not however it should be noted that certain features of a cyst which are specified on an ultrasound might be associated with a underlying serious disorder and in rare cases it can also be associated with a malignancy so in such cases your clinician will be advising you to undergo some additional hormonal tests as well as some tumor markers this tumor markers will help us in differentiating whether the cyst is of benign that is of less severe nature or it is of more severe nature that is it could be a malignant one so if the cyst is of simple variety and it doesn't need treatment it can be Uh, treated medically or by an expectant management for a period of three to six months. If it subsides during this period, it will uh, later on cause no consequence for your fertility-related query. But if the cyst persists, if it increases in size, if it causes some symptoms like if there is pain, if there is uh, he- increased heaviness. or there is some associated symptoms like loss of weight weight dullness etc which is causing disturbance in your life then it might need treatment now a very common form of ovarian cyst 
that we see in our day-to-day -day practice is of that of a chocolate cyst or an endometrioma, which is quite commonly associated with endometriosis. What is endometriosis? Endometriosis is a condition in which there is a uh, presence of a normally functioning uh, endometrial gland and stroma outside the normal uterine cavity. The presence of this endometrium is normally inside the uterine cavity where it supports pregnancy and is shed cyclically during the menstruation. However, if this endometrium is implanted elsewhere, it gives rise to endometriosis. When this ectopic endometrium is implanted inside the ovary, it becomes an endometriosis. So during each menstrual cycle, this ectopic endometrium undergoes bleeding and re-bleeding episodes. As a result of which, there is collection of blood inside the ovary, as a result of which gradually the cyst enlarges. Some characteristic symptoms of this cyst include pain uh, during menses or it may be during intercourse. In very severe cases, the women may be so much of debilitated that she might need admission. There could be pain during passage of urine or passage of feces also. So these are the symptoms that might be associated with an endometriosis or endometrioma. I would again like to remind you that, can, that you can reach out to me with your queries as well as your reports to the number that is flashing below your screen. I shall have a look at your reports and advise you accordingly. Once the diagnosis of an endometrial cyst is made, now you are faced with the dilemma that whether it should be treated and how should it be treated, whether it should be treated by medical methods or it should be treated by surgical methods. Now it has to be decided by your attending clinician. Suppose you are undergoing some fertility treatment and you want to conceive. Now in such cases, medical managements do not apply because medical managements are not feasible along with the fertility treatment. So, uh, mostly either this endometrium or chocolate cyst will not be treated if their size is very small and they are not causing much of symptoms or they will be treated surgically. The surgical removal is usually done by laparoscopic or minimal invasive methods whereas uh, uh, in severe cases some Laparotomy or open surgical techniques are also employed, but predominantly minimally invasive surgical techniques are employed. So by these techniques, that is by laparoscopic techniques, the uh, ovarian cyst is enucleated, the cyst wall is stripped and removed. In some cases, it may be excised only. In some cases, it may be ablated or some other techniques like laser fulguration, etc. are also needed. Now, we should always remember that the surgery for endometriosis or an endometrioma is always a double-edged sword because uh, during the surgery there is always a probability that you would damage the normal ovarian tissue therefore the patient should be aware of the pros and cons of the surgery and how the surgical procedure might affect her ovarian reserve later on therefore a balanced decision has to be taken always where Surgical management is taken only when the benefits of surgery outweigh the risks associated with it. And therefore, an informed consent, an informed decision is taken by the patient as well as by the doctor and the surgery is undertaken. The surgery which is undertaken by a minimal invasive surgical method has to be done in a very meticulous manner in such a way that there is minimal damage to the ovarian cortex which harbors most of the ovarian follicles and so later on fertility treat related treatment uh, can proceed smoothly. If the endometriosis is of a severe degree, this surgery is usually followed by some sort of medical treatments so as to prolong the period of remission as well as prevent recurrences. This might be followed by a uh, cycle of IVF in which uh, the lady might be given injections of gonadotropins or hormonal injections where the eggs are developed in her ovaries and later on after development they are taken out from her ovaries and they are later subjected to ICSI and form embryos. So post this surgical procedure the embryos are formed for IVF 
and then later they are transferred inside the woman's womb that is uterus if the endometriosis is not of that severe degree but has been diagnosed on laparoscopy then for if the and the age of the woman is also not much maybe less than 35 years then for a certain period of time she may uh, try to conceive naturally uh, if the tubes are patent so an expectant management uh, may be seen uh, or done in a certain cases or it might be followed by simpler methods of treatment like uh, ovarian stimulation with an IUI cycle the decision lies completely at the discretion of your clinician that which mode of treatment he or she wants to employ in your case i would like to again remind you that you reach out to me with your queries as well as your reports on the number that is being flashed uh, at the bottom of your screen i shall go through each of your reports and advise you accordingly uh, you should feel free to reach out to me via this teleconsultation and distant consultation methods in this troubled times this is a special initiative that we have taken so that you can reach out to us in this troubled times therefore uh, i hope that even if you are diagnosed with an ovarian cyst or maybe a chocolate cyst or endometrioma you don't get disheartened you just follow the proper treatment protocol that has been advised to you by your doctor and proceed accordingly at the end I would again like to thank you for spending your precious time with me. I hope I have been able to somewhat increase your knowledge on these topics. Again, I would like to remind you to stay indoors, stay safe and follow all the physical distancing and uh, hygiene measures so that you keep yourself as well as your near and dear ones safe in this uh, troubled times of COVID-19 pandemic. So thanks again for being a part of this session. I'm signing off. Thank you.